Kids 12 to 15 are on the verge of being able to get vaccinated. Pfizer is looking to have approval early next week. Now we've learned that plans are already in the works to vaccinate some Chicago students at school. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us from CPS with a look at the early plans. Megan. Right, Brad and Erica, CEO Janice Jackson said they're focusing on that high school level 16 and older group with the understanding that group might soon be expanding. Now, some teachers and students have already called on the district to make shots available in schools. CPS CEO Janice Jackson will be leaving her post at the end of June, but student vaccinations are still top of mind at work and at home. We were having this conversation as a family this weekend and, you know, I asked, you know, both of my kids, do you want to get vaccinated? You know, both of them said yes. Last week, we visited a community vaccination clinic at Aspira Business and Finance High School. But what about a Chicago public schools led clinic? In this situation, we can no longer wait. Today, Chicago Teachers Union educators and officers said the district has been dragging their feet on student vaccination plans. We need to work with the city of Chicago to create more vaccination centers at schools. This is a place where families come every day, drop their kids off. Are there any? So I asked Jackson, who told me the district is on track to help facilitate student vaccinations by the end of this school year. CPS will be playing a big role and we'll be leveraging all of the resources that we have, whether that's facilities or our nurses, et cetera, um, to, to help get more people vaccinated and raise awareness around the importance of that. For now, Pfizer is only approved for students who are 16 and older, but that approval could be expanding to 12, 13, 14, and 15-year-olds as soon as next week. Jackson says they're preparing for that as well. As for employee vaccinations, as of April 30th, about 22,000 of the 48,000 total employees were confirmed to have received a first dose, less than 50%, but Jackson says the data is incomplete. When you officially exit, will you be happy with the progress made so mm -hmm. far. And overall, I'm happy with the progress that we've made as a district. Of course, I want us to, to move forward and, and do even greater things, um, but it is a personal choice. But I tell everybody, I'm like a walk-in PSA, that this is important if we wanna get back to life before the pandemic. Now, according to CPS data, approximately 12,000 of the approximately 22,000 teachers in the district have had a confirmed first dose. Erica? Megan, what would a school-sponsored vaccination effort actually look like? So I asked Jackson that today. She said she has meetings this week with city and state health departments. So whether it's vaccination sites inside of schools or trips to city sites, all of those details should be coming out within the coming weeks. All right, investigator Megan Hickey, thank you.